Hi teachers, uh, this video is to show you how to do a tint and tone strip for a total of seven squares. So um, this is gonna be for third grade. What you'll need is your construction paper, pencil, eraser, and um, a ruler. And ideally you want a paper cutter. If you don't have a paper cutter, you can do scissors, but it just takes a lot longer with scissors. So I highly recommend um, using a paper cutter for this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your construction paper and this piece of construction paper right here is gonna give you eight um, tint and tone strips. So let's just say to make the math easier, well actually, yeah, you have 28 kids for third grade this year. So you are going to take 28, divide it by eight, and that gets you uh, four, three and a half. So you would actually have to make um, I would suggest, I would recommend just doing four pieces of construction paper and then having some tint and tone strips left over for you for next year. So grab uh, four pieces of construction paper and you're going to start, on, and on each of them you are going to do this. You are going to get your ruler and you are going to mark up at each one and a half inch, uh, no, one and a fourth inch interval. So one and a fourth, two and a half, this is where our math comes in, right? Three and three fourths, five. Five and a fourth, uh, excuse me, six and a fourth, seven and a half, okay? So we're gonna do those one, two, three, four, five, six little um, uh, marks. Then you're gonna go in the middle of your paper and do the same thing, one and a fourth, two and a half, three and three fourths, five, six and a fourth, seven and a half, okay? Now you're going to, with your ruler, I'm gonna go sideways for you. With your ruler, you are going to connect those two little marks you made and make a straight line going across, okay? One, um, two, three, Four, five, six, six lines, okay? And then what you're going to do, actually, I kind of thought of something just now. This right here, that last one, is, is about um, uh, almost a half an inch too long. So for that last one, go ahead and do an inch and a fourth line, uh, uh, an inch and a fourth measurement as well. And this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna cut that off and not use it. So I'm improvising here on my instructions. So get that last mark in at an inch and a half. So the, each line is an inch and a half across, okay? And then I have this little leftover. You're gonna do that with all the pieces of construction paper you're using. So like I said, if you have 28 kids, you need four pieces and then you're gonna have some leftovers. You're gonna do this four times then you're gonna take all four pieces of your construction paper and get them nice and tight together and you're gonna come over and use the paper cutter. And I kinda of have to pick this up and put it down to show you because I need two hands with the paper cutter. So I have it right like that and I'm gonna cut a, an inch and a half all the way across until I have cut eight times. Well, no, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna cut that little bottom end off first. So here we go. Lift that up, and here we go. So this is what I just cut off. I just cut that little strip off, and that is uh, of no use. So that strip is gone, and now I have, there we go. Now I have it running across like that, and I'm gonna cut across an inch and a half. I'll show you the first one. An inch and a half looks like this. So there's an inch and a half cut across, and I'm gonna do it until I have done it uh, all the way through. So an inch and a half, whoops, my bad's an inch and a half, an inch and a half, inch and a half, all the way, three, and last one, inch and a half. All right. So I have all these strips right here. 
Uh, you would have, I only did one piece of paper, you would have this uh, times uh, four, right? And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take each one and you're gonna put an X in the middle box, just like that, and then you're gonna number up. In the first box, one, two, three, one, two, three going up, four, five, six going down. And that's what it's gonna look like. The idea is, um, uh, let's say we're using, we're gonna be using purple. Uh, we're gonna put our pure purple on the X and then we're gonna tint and tone it. We're gonna add a little bit of white paint here, a little bit more and a little bit more. So it's gonna, the um, purple is gonna get lighter and lighter and lighter going up. Then going down, we're gonna add a little bit of black, a little bit more black and a little bit more black and it's gonna get darker and darker purple. So you'll see that in my instructional video. This is just to prep your materials and uh, good luck. And if you have any feedback for me whatsoever in regards to the lessons that I'm teaching or the material prep, I am very um, welcome to hear it. So um, thank you guys. And um, I know it takes a lot of work to do this prep. So uh, I do thank you for all your time.